The Boeing 737 still uses manual trim wheels, but in a dive they can lock up completely. No motors, no backups, just cables and your forearms. Most jets use electric trim, but the 737 still flies with direct mechanical trim wheels connected by cables to the stabilizer jack screw. It's old school, rugged and unforgiving. When the plane dives, aerodynamic load on the tail pins the stabilizer in place. You literally can't move the trim by hand. Pilots train for this exact moment. It's called the roller coaster method. Pull up sharply to unload the tail, trim fast, then repeat. If you're too slow, the force builds again and the wheel freezes up. There's no automation to help you, just technique and time. This exact limitation contributed to the 737 MAX incidents. With MSCAS driving nose-down trim and no electric override, crews had to fall back on manual trim. That wouldn't move. Since then, Boeing's reworked training, MSCAS logic and recovery checklists. But the trim wheel? Still there, still manual. Airbus trusts logic. Boeing trusts leverage. Which would you rather fight in a dive?